back here at Pacific Coast Hobbies in Lomita, California. See you guys inside. All right, guys, here we are. We are back at Pacific Coast Hobby, uh, Hobbies here in Lomita, California. So um, I've been following them since 2012, 2011. That's where I actually first found out about them. Uh, that's where all the real cool stuff is, right there on that aisle. So we'll make our way over there. But um, I found out about them back in RCX 2011, 2012. And they have everything here, literally everything. So um, this is typically their drone section back here. I had to wait in line to get in here. So uh, the one thing about this store is I hope in the future that they will get bigger space. I know when I talked to one of the owners that they are looking into that. But um, they do online sales. You guys can check them out on Instagram or online. So you guys can order from them directly. But if you guys are looking for an overall hobby shop that has everything in stock, I mean, other than maybe the felony and some of the other newer stuff that recently came in, you can definitely find it here. I can promise you that. My only drawback is the traffic. But other than that, this store is phenomenal. So... That's why I hardly make it over here as much as I do compared to some of the other shops. Because that traffic on the 405, 72, 710, and a couple of the other freeways, uh, they're located over here by uh, Palisades, California. So if you guys know where Palisades is, right by the ocean, right off of the Pacific Coast Hi uh, Highway, then you guys know where we are. Yeah, this came out a couple months ago. This thing retails for about four, forty-five hundred. It's an RC car. Can I make this street legal? And a couple of shop owners were actually riding around in this little dump truck here. And this is about three, maybe four times the size of the X Max and the Outcast for scale purposes. So. Fisco buggy. This one's about the size of the Outcast, a little bit longer. I know you guys can't tell on camera, but I'm trying to give you guys a comparison. Yep. Hey, what's going on, sir? How you doing? They got tons of batteries here. They got everything you guys could possibly need for this store. <clears throat> this is where I first saw the E Revo 2 a couple years ago. So right here. And there is the E Revo 2 right there on the end cap. But we'll make our way over there. <laughs> Ah, there we go. We got the Outcast 8S. And they have weekly tournaments and races where they compete here. It looks like they have a slot car track up there. Again, like I said, this is probably one of the number one, number two stores in all of USA. And it's a really tight race between this store and Marty's Hobbies that you guys have seen here on my channel. And they even got video game systems here. So that's something typically you won't find in any hobby store. Uh, I've been talking to another hobby, a, a number of hobby shops about getting video game units inside the store. And this is essentially why I named my channel a hobby channel. It's because everything kind of falls underneath that, whatever is a hobby as far as toys, video games, RC cars and everything. Unfortunately, YouTube analytics really don't see it that way, but 
I wish they had something more tailored for hobbies. And as you guys can see here, you have a lot of the um, merchandise here. You have Legos. So these are toys. And one of the things that's really good about a hobby shop like this is that they have picked up a lot of the business from Toys R Us and also uh, Walmart. And the cool thing is you're talking to guys who are knowledgeable about putting things together and fixing things that could e easily end up broken. So, yeah, I mean, you're going to find a lot of good things here about this place and also my channel as well because we're about technical applications and doing things. And so a lot of the toys, in my opinion, should honestly simply fall under a hobby because it's a hobby. Something you got to put together with yourself, by yourself, use your hands, and they're not, and they're more than just a toy. So, just wanted to give you guys that information. So uh, here you have all your paints. I think I can't tell if they're temperature controlled. I don't think they are. But you have all your paints here. You have a very wide selection. Everything here is nicely laid out. Whatever your pleasure is, you have all your paints here. You got your glues. You got your hobby knives, they even got Gundams here. And again, these are what are typically considered toys. But as you can see, they all fall under the hobby classification. Hey, do you know when was the last RCX event? I know when I found out about you guys, I was at 2011-2012, and I think the last one I went to was... 2013 or 14, something like that. I don't, I don't even know if they're doing them anymore because of the whole COVID thing. Well, I mean, before that, like, uh, like back at 2016. It's been a while. I went to one of them with PC Hobbies, but right. that was like, yeah, that was like 2011 or so. Mm -hmm. that was a long time ago. Yeah, the best one that that the, I think they had was in Long Beach, and then after that, they had one that was in Costa Mesa. Yeah, the one I went to was Long Beach. Oh, yeah. That was big. Yeah. Massive. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. They had a whole section just for rock crawling, whole scenery, everything. Yep. They had the tracks, everything. I, I know before then they had one that was in uh, Pasadena. I think that was 2010. Oh, I got you. Yeah, I think I was at the 11 or 12 one, but I haven't heard nothing about it since then. <laughs> so they went out of state. Nah. Yeah, but if you've got two sets of batteries, that's like, it's 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 like, here we have a reedy set they have the reedy batteries they have the reedy power supply there so everything you guys are looking for uh pertaining to specific brands they have them all in stock and it has been a very long time since i've seen this much top fuel traxxas gasoline all in one section as you guys know most of the guys nowadays they are going battery operated i mean i still love rc uh nitro just haven't had time to really run it we have all the tires what is this for got traxxas bodies we got an x max body here it's pretty cool standard body and no they don't have anything for the felony right now Absolutely nothing for the felony. So. All the tools you guys can possibly imagine, the things that you need for your hobby, you got them here.
You know what? Maybe I should pick. Oh, this is exactly what I need. Exactly what I needed. 24. This is a pit mat. How big is this? I'll keep this in mind. How big is this? Three feet. Three feet. Roughly. It's been a while since I opened one up. And then, of course, you can't have a complete hobby shop unless you got a train track or train set up. I know a lot of shops aren't big enough to have something where they can show up, but this is one of the hobbies that kind of started everything, working on miniature train sets. And, of course, you got all your rock crawlers up there. So this is my hand. Look at the size of that tire. This is bigger than the X Max tire. I think it's massive. And you got your paddle tires here. Got a nice, sick looking display case here. Wouldn't mind having something like this in my garage. Ah, Fortec. They still got those ancient cars around. <laughs> That's the electric version. Yeah, Trax has missed out on a great opportunity at the time. I mean, now Arma's running a thing now with the infraction and the um, felony and the limitless, but that would have been an incredible opportunity for them to produce a seven scale vehicle going that fast. All right, and currently the E Revos are at five ninety nine. Uh, I believe that's fifty dollars more than the Creighton right now, which is a same type of car, competitive scale. Seven ninety nine gets you the battery and everything with it. So I know for some of you guys who haven't seen the E Revo in person, uh, let me see if this is taped on here. Just double check. Nope, it's not stuck. We're going to make sure that this isn't taped down some kind of way. Okay, I think it's taped down. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. So here is the E-Revo 2 for those of you guys who have never seen it. Looks pretty much the same. So this has always been one of the weaker parts of the vehicle is back here to protect this diff housing that's on there because I've even had, even on my Mini, had the chassis snap because of the wheelie bar. Then of course they added this on here. So they even have, um, let me see, what else was that different? So it pretty much looks like the E-Revo. The only thing is I wish it was on here was something to protect the electronics like what the Creighton currently has. So. I think their remedy for that was this, was to create some type of uh, roll cage on the body to make it sturdy or secure it a little bit more. But you know how the Creighton has the bar in the middle that kind of protects the entire chassis. That's actually a really good upgrade. And so that's one of the biggest differences if you guys are looking between an E-Revo and a Creighton with Arma is that they have that bar and then they also have that uh, uh, roll cage uh, protector right there in the middle. That protects your electronics. That that's that's huge. So, but other than that, it looks just like a regular E Revo. Um, don't see anything else that they would have added. And then, of course, the body is snap on just like the X Max. So, those of you guys have never seen this before. Oh, 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Love this place. Boom, so there you are, and then it's locked in place. So you have the vehicle. So I'll just leave it like that for now. Cool car. And there's the uh the Max. You guys saw me, I had that on my one of my videos a few weeks ago, but I didn't really showcase it. Anyway, like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about the footage. Here to answer questions. Um, all the information for this store will be listed in the description below. I'm pretty much done with this tour, guys. Uh, oh, question. Uh, do you guys know when you guys are getting some more tires in for the felony? I don't know. Uh, what about the Bluetooth module for the DX3? You know when that's coming out? Oh, you were asking me which one. You never seen it? Yeah, the module. All right. All right, guys, I'm out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to show them a picture of it. So I have a picture of it. I can show it to you. I just wondered when it was coming out. Okay. I'm not versed with the internet. I'm sorry. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys. You guys have a good day. This is Theo Dyken. Catch you guys later. Hey, guys. What's going on? It's Keel Dyken. Uh, I'm here at Pacific Coast Hobbies, and I think I found some felony replacement tires. Um, I can't really find the measurements on these. The only problem... Uh, these are the JAC 2030 made by Jayco Racing, and uh, these are for uh, the, I think these are the front, yeah, front tires, but they look like they're the same size as the rears um, for the felony. Now, these are the fronts, but as you can see, here, hold on. these tires are a little bit bigger and wider than the felonies um in the front one so these may be the rears the only problem is these have a smaller hex these are the 10 millimeter hex like what you guys will find on the uh stampedes and other tensico cars whereas the felony and several other cars uses a 17 millimeter so but as far as the thickness and the wideness i know that the felonies use a 52 i believe 52 or 53 and I know the felonies, they are like a 42. They use a combination of the 42 on the front and a 53 on the back. So uh, let me know if you guys can look this up just to verify it. Yeah, see the the hoons are 42 or over 100 and the rears are 53 over 100. But these are way too identical. But like I said, the only problem is the hex size. So... Just thought I'd share this information with you guys. And pass the information along. They look like it's the exact same. I mean, as far as the width of it and thickness, it looks like it could be some suitable replacements right now.